Well, hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. Um, I've been in my garden most of the day today, getting as much as I can done while this weather stays the way it is because we never know, you know, in this country from uh, one day to the next whether it's going to change or not. So I've been doing quite a lot of um, work. I had some uh, garden to dig over because I was going to plant uh, some things and it needed a um, little bit um, weeding as well because all around the edge of my fence I have bricks all up against the fence trying to keep the weeds coming in from behind the, um, the fence but uh, it doesn't always succeed. I had a lot of um, weeds coming in so well, I had to get my gloves and that out because there were prickly, a lot of prickly ones and that and I cleared a lot of the weeds first. And then hold between, I've got onions um, grown, I hold between the onions and was digging over a little bit, garden. Well, that's a little bit garden I've dug over the day. My onions at the back, I've hold between to get rid of any weeds. Dug that bit over. Going to level it off tomorrow beetroot and lettuce and then start on another part of the garden so that's a little bit of what I've been doing um, today doing lots of other little bits as well and um, I've got a very large garden there's a lot of weeds in it one sorting um, out little border around my, I've got a very small little bit green up the um, the top above the um, the patio and I've been doing a little bit of that earlier on this morning because um, the sun starts at the top of my garden and works its way down and around and it gets a bit cool after um, the sun goes off the, um, the top of my garden like so I was doing a little bit around that little green tidying that little bit up uh, first and then I had to keep having a rest every so often. I have a table and um, I had my lounge out um, in a little corner of the, um, the bottom of the garden so when I was sitting having a rest every so often having a, a cup of something and or a glass of something and I also while I was sitting I thought I'm going to give myself a longer rest. I had a pile of papers like this you know that you get through your door, all that crappy mail that comes through your, your door and that. And I needed it all sorted to sort out, um, you know, things like um, bank statements and things like that out of it and where I was thrown away and to take off the names and addresses of, the, um, of everything I was thrown away because you don't want anything um, going out with your, your names and addresses that anybody can... Um, steal your identity from me. <laughs> so I thought I'm going to sit down that'll give me a reason to sit down and have a break or else I'd be back doing the garden again and I do really need to rest in between things that I'm uh, doing in the, um, the garden so I got a little bit done anyway and it's got up to um, tea time and I thought that's as much as my body can take I can't take any I can't do any more than that and another thing, I think I'm going to have to get a cap because I could feel the sun burning my scalp. My hair's not as thick as it used to be. It's getting thinner as I'm getting uh, older and I could feel the heat on my, my scalp. And I think it is red, what I can see. So I think I'm going to have to get some sort of um, cap or maybe I could crochet a little, little crown thing, you know, to put on up. <laughs> Something like that for to save the, um, the sun burning my scalp. I've never had this problem, it's only just started the last couple of years. My hair wasn't as thin as this a uh, couple of years ago, but it's just getting really thin over the, um, the years now. But anyway, I'm going to tell you another little story just to, um, to make my video for today. This is about, um, I went on holiday, it was, would have been two years, nearly two years, um, 2019. Went to Turkey with... Um, with my friend, well, she was my ex-daughter-in-law actually, um, she was married to my middle son 
at one time, and she's my granddaughter Cheryl, it's her mother. And we went on holiday um, together to Turkey. And when we got to the um, the airport, you know, you go through all the usual routine and um, everything. And then we were going up the um, the escalator to go up to the um, for the gate for our plane. And I got to the top and I was holding the um, the boarding pass. I had my passport and I was holding the boarding pass in the um, inside the passport. And when I got to the top of the stairs, the top of the escalator, I'm looking down and I couldn't see that boarding pass. I disappeared out of my um, passport. I must have been holding it hard enough and I think it must have slipped out. Anyway, um, my ex-daughter, no, Veronica, that's, that's her name. Well, she gets called Ronnie. Um, Ronnie, she said, you stay there, I'll go and have a look. So she went down all, all the way down the stairs. She couldn't see it anyway. And she got to the very bottom of the escalator and it was stuck at the bottom of the escalator. It's a good job it hadn't went any further. I would have been without a, um, a boarding pass. But anyway, we went along, um, you know, along the corridors and all that to get to the um, the plane and that. And I thought, oh, I better go into the low first. So we had a, um, a package with them. Um, it was all about the hotel and every every about the hotel and everything where we were going to and that. And I had this um, package for both of us. It was because everything had been done. I had booked it in um, my name in the um, online and and no, it wasn't online. We had went to the um, Dawson and Sanderson. I think it was. I, I, yeah, that's right. It was Dawson and Sanderson. But anyway, I had the package and uh, went into the um, the loo. And while I was washing my hands, I put the package down on the um, on the bench beside, you know, the sink thing. I was washing my hands. Anyway, I got on the um, the plane, and Veronica said to me, um, "Oh, where's the um, the papers? You know what the hotel's all about." And I'll have a look at it while we're on the plane. I'll, I haven't got it. I said, I've left it in the flaming toilet on the um, the bench. It's so hopeless, and. Well, sitting there anyway, she says, give me your passport and everything else, she says, because you, you, you lost it, you will, you know. <laughs> it's just one of those days, you know, where nothing went right like that. But anyway, we were on holiday and we enjoyed the holiday. It was at, um, one of those places that was in the middle of nowhere, actually. We had to get taxis everywhere to go to the, um, it was near a place, um, the Serrano or somewhere like that, I think it was called. And we had to get a taxi everywhere we went. We tried walking the places, but we kept getting lost, you know. But um, anyway, on the um, when we were on the plane going there, we hadn't booked for to sit together. We never thought about that when we uh, were booked. And they were going to sit me at one end of the plane and Veronica at the, um, the other, and uh, we were getting annoyed. And uh, I was at the back of the plane, I think, uh, and I turned around and there was a lot of empty seats at the um, behind us. So I said to the um, the air hostess, I says, can we not sit together and know those seats there? I says, it's not right. I says, that um, we are together. And she says, he's at one end of the plane and I'm at the other. Well, she agreed that um, the air hostess should let me sit together. I know you're supposed to sit in the seats that's, um, that's given to you. It's for reasons where if the plane crashes or anything like that, they know who's in what seat. But I wasn't bothered. We were going to sit together uh, so that's what we did anyway, um, and see when we were coming back, my friend, <laughs> Veronica, she just seemed to attract the attention of the um, thing. I think she was searched, I don't know how many times, she was searched going there, searched coming back, and uh, never bothered with me, but uh, she must have had one of those um, faces. And when we finally did get on the plane, um, when we were coming back, we were sitting near, near each other again, but I was in the seats in front and Veronica was in the, the seats behind. And I was sitting with this the family. There was a mother and father sitting next to me and two daughters in the back. Who Veronica was sitting next to and I was sitting back. The, the, I was sitting next to the father. I had the window seat. And the father was sitting and he was like this the whole time and his legs was up and down and like this the whole flight all the way and I was getting really annoyed and he was getting right on my nerves and Veronica had she was on the end seat on the aisle seat 
and the two girls, well, they were adults, they weren't kids, um, that had too much to drink and they were up and down all the time and uh, she was trying to, um, to sleep because we hadn't had much sleep the, um, the night before because um, it had been in sort of like a middle of the night flight that we had to get and we were just trying to have a little bit snooze on the um, the plane and they had her up and down all the time and that and she was getting really annoyed and she says honestly Sheila she says we're getting off that plane if I'd been on there much longer she says I would have punched the pair of them <laughs> but anyway we, we did actually enjoy the holidays it's just the flights but I think that's awful when I know I remember years ago when uh, I used to go on the on plane aeroplane with my friends and that if you book together they sat you together but now they want you to pay extra to sit together which I think it's all wrong if you book together you should be sat together but you, you kind of tell them what's what like um, I very much doubt I'll be going on a plane uh, anytime soon like um, lately like until all this Covid thing sorted out and uh, everything I don't like all the, the carry on and that you have to do and that because I was on holiday last year and in Corfu and it was masks everywhere, mask the whole time on the plane or everywhere in the holiday places that we went to it was masks all the time and I just did not really enjoy that holiday. I went with another, um, some other friends uh, and their fa and her family and that uh, and it just was not, was not a good holiday. So and until this Covid thing sorted out I'll probably not be going abroad any time again soon. So that was just a little bit story to fill the time in to make this video a little bit longer so I got plenty adverts on it. So if you like my video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll tell you another little story some other time. Goodbye for now.